everyone, this is Lord Tremendous here. Got another battle report here for you. This is uh, game two of the local tournament that I ran over at my or at my friend's store. Uh, it was a 2,500 point battle. It was Lord Tremendous, me of the Warriors Chaos, versus the Ladies Avatar of the Bretonians. And this is the exact same opponent that I have faced in my previous battle reports for the tournament a couple months ago. Uh, the one that could not stop making his ward saves and I think almost tabled me and uh, but beat me pretty severe. So this is a bit of a grudge match. There's a little bit of hate. There was a little bit of hate. There was. There was. No, he's a good friend of mine actually, and it was a good game. It was fun. Uh, right here is the uh, Halloween scenario two that I made. Uh, burn the witch. Uh, basically, it was kill the casters. You know, hey, Halloween, burn the witch, Salem witches. I, you know, it just I was inspired. But basically, anything that channels a power die or dispel die counts as a caster. So, you know, your typical sorcerers, wizards, whatever, but also like the Dark Elf Warlocks or the Lizardman, Lizardman uh, Troglodons with the uh, Oracle Staff or whatever. Anything that can channel a power die or dispel dies would count as a caster in this one. Uh, your battle points were awarded for killing a caster. Uh, if you kill the caster in a challenge, you got two. If you kill the caster with flaming attacks, you get three. Haha, ha, burn the witch. But the bonuses weren't cumulative. So if you kill the caster in a challenge with a flaming attack, you would not get six points. You would get three. If you kill the caster in a challenge, you wouldn't get three points. You'd get two. You get the idea. I'll stop talking about it. Uh, your bonuses were like kill all the fir enemy casters. You get an extra three battle reports or battle points, and for every uh, caster you lost, you you lost a battle point. So you also wanted to protect your casters as well as uh, 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 kill your enemies. So it went like that. And uh, you know what? I, I, I think about it now if like you played a mono corn or a dwarf list or something like that. Well, I guess dwarves have the rune priests. But yeah, if you played an army with no casters of any kind, I, I, I really don't know. I'm glad nobody did, but <laughs> if somebody had, I guess they would have had an unfair advantage in this one, uh, and I didn't think of that. Luckily, it didn't come up, so whatever. My list is the usual one. Again, the reason that I haven't changed my list up in a while is because I'm practicing for the Alamo GT in a couple of weeks. So come November, mid-November, so you will see some uh, serious changes to my list and stuff like that. So it should variety it up a little bit for you. So thanks for bearing with me. I hope you guys continue to enjoy them. I'm going to continue to make them. But anyway, this is uh, my list. If you've seen one of my recent battle reports, then you know exactly what I took. I have uh, Demon Prince, Lord Tremendous, with the Mark of Zinch. He's a level 4 wizard. He's got the Chaos Armor with wings. He uses Charm Shield, Dragon Bane Gem, Other Trickster Shard, the Demon Blade, Soul Feeder, Scaled Skin, and he uses the Lore of Metal. My heroes were the Exalted Hero, Tartum, the Herald of Zinch. He's got the Mark of Zinch. He's my BSB. He's on a demonic mount that's barded. He uses a great weapon. He's got the Talisman of Preservation, Poisonous Slime, and the Third Eye of Zinch. Last but not least is my Chaos Sorcerer, Ashikus the Muse. He's got the Mark of Slanesh. He's a level 2 wizard. He's on a Steed of Slanesh. He uses the Enchanted Shield, the Skull of Katam, the Lux Stone, the Ruby Ring of Ruin, and he uses the Laura Slanesh because it kills people. My core choices were a unit of 24 by Chaos Warriors with the Mark of Zinch. They had uh, full command, hand weapon shield, and the Banner of Eternal Flame. I had a unit of 5 Chaos Warhounds. That was basically just my throwaway unit, and they had poison attacks. I had a unit of 5 Marauder Horsemen with the Mark Slanesh, Banner Musicians, Spears, Shields, and Throwing Axes. Two chariots, one with the Mark of Zinch and one with the Mark of Slanesh, Orcish Elegance. And yes, I'm still using the Gore Beast uh, model as my proxy for that model because my wife is currently tr uh, painting that model for the Alamo GT. And she's doing a heck of a job. You guys are going to like it. Uh, my special choices were my 5x Hell Striders, the Pleasure Riders, with Banner Musician Spears and Shields. I had my Chimera. Trifection! <laughs> with Poison and Regen, and of course, my one, my only, the Mutilith Vortex. <laughs> Gotta love the beast. My opponent's list was uh, as follows. He had a lord on a war horse with the Knight's Vow, heavy armor, with shield, the birth sword of... Carcassonne, uh, I guess. I don't know. He's probably dead now, so I can murder his name all I want. Uh, 
the Dragon Helm, a Lux Stone, uh, the Potion of Foolhardiness, and the Virtue of Heroism. He also had a Prophetess of the Lady. <laughs> uh, she was a level 4 wizard on a war horse with the Silver Mirror, the Crown of Command, and the Lore of Life. His hero choices were a Damsel of the Lady. Pinkies up, everyone! She was a level 1 wizard, a war horse, dispel scroll, main of the pure breed, and used lore of beasts. Hmm. Such a pity. Uh, he had a paladin is on a royal pegasus with the worm lance, the enchanted shield, and the gauntlet of the duel. I actually like that item a lot. Go figure, the Warriors of Chaos player likes the gauntlet of the duel. He had a paladin uh, on a war horse that was his BSB. He had the sword of might, the charm shield, a dawn stone, and a bad attitude. Which isn't surprising for a paladin. His core was 11 knights errant with full command and the errantry banner, a unit of 10 knights of the realm uh, with full command stand and the standard of discipline. He had a unit of 10 knights of the realm with uh, full command and the banner of eternal flame, and a unit of 5 knights errant with musician and unit champion, another unit of 5 knight errant with uh, musician and unit champion, a unit of 12 Peasant Bowmen with Musician and Unit Chump, and a unit of 11 Peasant Bowmen with a Musician and a Chump. Uh, he had, for his special choices, he had a unit of 3 Pegasus Knights with Musician and Unit Chump, and for his rare, he had a couple of Trebuchets. What's an army? Actually, it was a, it's a very solid army, so with two Trebuchets, at least they're not cannons, I can deal with that, you know. <laughs> But no, it's a very cool army, and he, as you can see in the background and the intro page, he paints them very well. Plus, if you notice, uh, he got one of the banners from the banner guy, and look how much cooler his army looks with it. That's right, if you were holding out, now's the time. So, yeah, now that I've dropped that hint, these are my spells. Uh, four from Metal, two from Slanesh, one from the Ruby Ring of Ruin, and of course the middle is Spell, and there's no card. I know, I'm going to say it every time. I did not get a picture of his cards because he doesn't have them. He just wrote them down on his list. Uh, I don't remember what he had. Uh, he used the Lore of Life with the level 4. He used the Lore of Beast with the level 1. And he, he tried to get a lot of spells off. He got... Uh, well, you know, you'll see. So, yeah, here's deployment. And as you can see, it's a barrel of laughs. Uh, I pretty much lined up against him. He lined up against me, and I vanguarded some guys up with the idea of getting to his trebuchets as fast as I could. He kind of did the spread out thing to protect his archers and his uh, trebuchets, uh, specifically his trebuchets. So I kind of lined up my monsters and my demon prince and everything kind of way over to the right. It made it so really only one trebuchet had a really good shot at anybody. And uh, just, I was hoping, you know, I figured if everybody was swarm in my direction, he had a better chance of hitting him if, you know, he didn't score a direct hit. It was a gamble, and you'll see how well it worked out. Uh, I don't really know what his plan was because, you know, he didn't tell me, so. <laughs> uh, here's my opponent's right flank. Uh, that uh, unit in the back there on, the, on our left on the Pegasus is his paladin with the worm lance and all the craziness and the bad attitude. Uh, right in front there is a unit of three Pegasus Knights. There's a unit of Knights of the Realm, I think, with his uh, the, the Damsel of the Lady, I think. Yeah, not the Prophetess, the Damsel is right there. I think that's right. Ugh, I can't remember. Yeah, yeah, that's right, that's right. That's where he put it, Lord of Beasts. There's his unit of Peasant Bowmen. I think that's the 11 by brick with a trebuchet number one uh, behind there. And I don't know if you remember this or not, but that is a scratch-built trebuchet. And I think it looks better than the original one. So, yeah, if you want, take a minute, zoom in, take a look, enjoy it. Here's my opponent's center. There is a unit right there. Uh, I think those are Knights of the Realm, Knights Errant. No, those are Knights of the Realm. Uh, inside there, he's got his BSB, he's got his Lord, and he's got his Prophetess. So that unit is point saturated and was a huge target for me. Right next to them, in the middle there, is this unit of 12 Peasant Bowmen with a Trebuchet behind them. Big unit of Knights Errant or Knights of the Realm or whatever it was. I can never tell. They all look alike to me. Uh, to the right there, kind of angled out to deal with my monsters. And on his left flank are his two chaff units of Knights Errant. Uh, no, I think with, uh, yeah, just two units of five, and their job was really just to watch that flank. I don't think he was expecting that many monsters on this flank, but all part of my master play. Yeah, it was an accident. I got nothing. <laughs> 
Here's my right flank. There's my Hell Striders with Ashikus the Muse inside. I decided not to vanguard them up because I didn't want to catch two units of five knights into the face. They're cav, sure, but they're light cav compared to his heavy cav. There's my Demon Prince kind of hanging out behind that uh, obstacle right there, just in case, you know, whatever, maybe, what, I know they're not cannons, but that's just where I put them because he can fly over it. I got the Chimera right next to me uh, with the uh, Zinch Chariot next to them, and of course, the... <laughs> hanging on to the very far uh, left of my right flank, which is kind of confusing to say it that way, and I apologize. Right here is my center. On the far right there is my BSB model, uh, the Dragon Ogre right there rearing up. Uh, there's my unit of 24 by Chaos Warriors. Next to them are my Warhounds, and behind them is the Chariot Oslanesh. Uh, yes, a regular Chariot, not a Gorby's Chariot. And the idea here was that if they tried to take some pot shots at my Chariot, the dogs would give them a hard cover save. Uh, and here's my left flank, which is just the lonely unit of Marauder Horsemen uh, that I kind of left out there to die. Their job was to try to get behind enemy ranks and get to a trebuchet ASAP. So we go to top of turn one, and of course the Bretonians take a knee to, to pray, and I move up. No charges, because that would be cheating. Uh, my Marauder Horsemen move up as far as they can, and it turns out I can't get them far enough to get out of the line of sight of his Paladin on the Pegasus. So I decided, screw it, that'll keep the Paladin out of the game a little bit. Yeah, he's going to get like 140 points for killing him, but maybe I can put a wound or two on him. Maybe I'll get lucky and my dice will roll out of box and his will roll like garbage, and I'll kill him. And, you know, maybe pigs will fly, or I'll learn how to breed unicorns. You know, all sorts of crazy things could happen. So I gambled. Uh, the dogs moved up to dare some of the knights to charge them, to get them in the better positioning to charge with uh, my warriors or my Slanesh chariot, which kind of held back a little bit. BSB hung back near the tower just to kind of get whatever charge off that might work out. The Mutalit jumps up forward there to get close enough to get his spell off on the big old unit and uh, maybe even catch a charge. I felt ballsy. Uh, my Zine's chariot my, and the rest of my monsters on the right side just kind of hang back, daring the unit of five knights of the realm uh, times two to charge my demon prince. I wanted that fight. I really did. And the Hellstriders stay back because they didn't want that fight. And they had range with all their spells, so there was no reason for me to move them up any further than that yet. Uh, so, yeah, to be honest, nothing happens. My magic phase doesn't do anything my shooting phase i throw a bunch of axes at the paladin but you know if i do wound i've got to get past his one up armor for a uh, six up ward and i didn't so we go to bottom of one and as you can see he's done some movement his uh paladin on a, on a pegasus went ahead and charged the marauder horseman who stood shot and failed to wound uh the mutilith i don't believe catches any any charge uh but i think they did try to charge him and they failed uh, my Demon Prince catches one unit of knights that failed their leadership check. He did not want to charge, but he had to, because uh, one of the knights errant units uh, failed their leadership check and charged into a Demon Prince, much to their soon-to-be regret. And other than that, things didn't really move a whole lot. Uh, he's not bad with Bretonians at all, and he knows better than to expose himself, especially those big, juicy flanks, you know what I mean? So there's a better picture right here of the Marauder Horseman going, Oh God, our general's a scumbag. And, yeah, I am. It's true. Right here is a better picture of the Knights Errant going, Oh, God, what were we thinking? This is the effing Demon Prince. So, yeah, yeah, I'm feeling pretty confident over here. Oh, yep, and his unit of Knights uh, of the Realm did charge the dogs who fled just to take his unit out of uh, position a little bit. The warriors that they fled through did pass their panic check, mostly because my BSB was sitting right next to him. So <laughs> that almost backfired something fierce. Uh, his magic and shooting was uneventful, so we went into combat, and while my Demon Prince is able to kill two of the Knights of the Realm, uh, my Demon Blade puts a wound on my Demon Prince, and the Knights actually slip one through as well. So my Demon Prince is half dead, the unit is steadfast and stays, and now I'm starting to regret the whole, hey, let's get this charge thing. <laughs> I'm kind of glad only five made it and not ten. That might have uh, knocked the Demon Prince right off the table, bottom of one. So, thank you, Zinch. Over here, however, my Marauder Horsemen get brutalized by the Paladin. I don't 
think I do any wounds to him. I'm not sure. No, I don't because he actually gets uh, he irresistibly casts during his magic phase uh, Throne of Vines, the Lore of Life spell on his Prophetess, and then he's able to get the toughness, uh, the Stone of Flesh spell off on his Paladin. So they needed sixes to wound, and I think they did actually wound a couple of times, but he made his armor save no problem, and he vapes the unit. Runs him down to a man. So, disappointing, not surprising, and he's actually way out of position now, so worth it i guess so here's top of two after movement and as you can see there's been some uh my mutilith my Ch chimera and my zinch chariot charged that big unit of knights uh that uh, failed their charge i think against the chimera well those knights failed their pan their terror check twice either it was twice or they were out of range of the bsb and they fled off the table uh, my Chimera tried to redirect into the Knight's Aaron and uh, passed, but did not make the charge. So he moved up like four inches. Uh, my Chariot and my Mutilith did not try to redirect, and they both end up moving up like four inches. So that was okay, because the entire unit failed the terror check and fled off the table. Uh, meanwhile, my uh, Hellstrider is now able to get past everything, run up to the flank there, and get ready to start magicking stuff. Uh, my dogs rallied. And the Warriors and the uh, uh, BSB kind of got into position, getting ready to do whatever it is they were going to do. I was waiting for that unit of Knights to slam into whatever. I think I, I wanted him to hit my BSB because I figured if he can stay, he can do well as long as I don't flub. And then my Warriors would have a beautiful flank charge into him and should be able to finish him off. Uh, meanwhile, my uh, Sinesh Chariot kind of ran over to the side. I thought I could get out of the range, or out of the line of sight of his Pegasus Knights, and I was wrong. But to be honest with you, I'd rather have the Pegasus Knights into my Sinesh Chariot than into the flank of my Warriors, so I gave him that option. Here's a better picture of that unit of Knights. They're just gone, just poof. In all fairness, if a Chimera and a Mutilith and a Chariot were charging me, I would flee like a bitch, too. Sorry, I swore, but yeah, <laughs> I would, I would. I'm not even going to edit that out. It's staying. Sorry. Uh, yep, during the magic phase, the Mutilith got his spell off on the Bowman, and I don't remember what it did to them, uh, what particular spell it was. I think it might have been the, uh, the small template spell. And it, uh, four of them get wiped off the table. They pass their panic check because the knights are right there. But four or less peasants on the ground. And that's a good thing. That's a good thing. Because they have that brazier thing that makes all their shots flaming. And I didn't realize it. Uh, over here in combat, my demon prince is able to finish off the last three knights. Uh, just pure slaughter. It wasn't combat res. I didn't put any more wounds on myself, but I didn't heal any with Soul Feeder either, so I'm still a little nervous. I am one trebuchet away from it not having my Demon Prince anymore. Uh, so, yep, still a little nervous. Still a little nervous. So we go to bottom of two after all is said and done, and there's a lot of movement. His big old unit of point-saturated knights slamming into my uh, BSB. He needed like a 9 or a 10 to hit me too, so I thought I was good, and he rolls like an 11. So it's like, oh, well, that, well, what can you do? It was meant to be. Uh, his other unit of knights, the, the, oh, I'm sorry, his big unit of saturated knights tried to charge my mutal at first, I fled, he redirected the charge, passed his leadership, and then slammed into my BSB. The mutalith fled through the, uh, chariot, who immediately failed his panic check, was out of range of my BSB, and also fled, so that's awesome. Uh, my chimera took the charge from the unit of five knights errant that just said the hell with it and went for it. And my Slanesh Chariot took the charge from his unit of Pegasus Knights because I figured it was better than nothing. So right here, I'm kind of on the back foot, but I still think that I have the stats and just the raw awesome to, to power through. And I was willing to see it through, so we'll see. Right here is a better picture of Trifection catching the Knights to the face. And over here, here's Tartum, the Herald of Zinch, going, uh, I don't know about this plan anymore, boss. That's <laughs> a lot of points. But, uh, well, you'll see what happens in a minute. And there's my Slanesh Chariot uh, sacrificing himself for the cause. Yeah, I got nothing there. It was better that the Chariot gets killed than, the knight, than my warriors catch a flank charge from Bretonians. Or uh, Pegasus Knights, anyway. So I'm fine with the fact that he charged that Chariot. Uh, I, I figured with a little luck he'd hold out for a little while, but we'll see. Uh, so yeah, during combat uh, with the Chimera and the Knights... 
he does it again. Uh, the Chimera takes one wound, uh, which I really wasn't overly concerned about. So he's got a charge. He's got a he's got a, a a wound now. So he's up by two. My Demon Prince is right there. I'm thinking I got this. I roll beautifully. I get like seven attacks, eight attacks. I can't remember. I hit with a bunch. So yeah, I've got four wounds I get through. They all go through his armor save. No problem. Like paper. And then he rolls four dice. And he makes four five-up ward saves by rolling four sixes. So I made him put those dice there so that I could take the picture to show everybody that he is truly the lady's avatar. The lady protects. Damn her. So I lose this combat. I should have slaughtered all but one of those SOBs. And the lady protects. <laughs> So I lose this combat by two or three or something like that. Two, I think. But luckily, thank God, my Demon Prince is within 12. I only need a seven, and I make it, and he stays. But oh my God, four sixes on four dice. He's breaking math, people. He's breaking math. So we go over to this next combat where uh, the, the Bretonian uh, Pegasus Knight slamming into my chariot and he does a wound to my chariot, but my chariot, my, my riders get pissed and they do three wounds and they all get through. So a Pegasus Knight dies and another one is half dead. I win this combat, but they stick around. So the lady is neglecting these guys and I'm fine with that. The hell with her. So we go over here. And my BSB gets into a challenge with his lord. Of course, the lord can't get past my three-up ward save, and I'm fine with that. He does four wounds at strength seven to this SOB. I'll get past his armor save, and once again, as I'm sure you're looking at right now, he makes four five-up effing ward saves again. So I paused the game, walked outside, dropped a barrel of toxic waste in the water supply, and I told that lady to choke on it. I didn't really do that, but I wanted to. In my head, it happened. Twice in the same round, he's done the impossible. And those aren't even the same dice. These are the same dice that he uses for leadership checks, to hit, to wound, and he's rolling average to do all that. There's another power here. The lady likes this guy. I don't know why he's a jerk. <laughs> I'm kidding. He's a good guy. But it's like, can you believe this? Can you be this? You know what Warhammer does to me? It makes me believe in higher powers because it's unbelievable that this keeps happening. Unbelievable. So yeah, yeah. Now I've lost this combat. Charge, banner, BSB. One, two, three ranks. I've lost by six, six because I couldn't get the four wounds through. I still would have lost by two, but who cares? Well, all right, I lost by five because I'm actually a BSB. So I lose by five. I need a three to stick it out. I need a three to stick it out. So I scream out, literally, in the middle of the store, Zinch, buddy, I need ya. The lady is beating me down. And I roll insane courage by the power of Zinch. <laughs> So my god is there too. So yeah, I roll snake eyes and I stay with insane courage, which is a game changer right there. But you know what? I'm not even going to apologize for it because that lady pain in the butt was turning things for him. I'm thrilled that Zinch had my back in this game. And he did. And he did. So, laughing hysterically, we go to top of turn three, and I take full advantage of the lady of uh, Zinch's attentions, and I slam into the flank of his uh, big unit with my warriors. My dogs move up to try to get a hold, or try to, you know, catch the attention of whatever he can. They can't march. They failed their, their leadership check to march, so that's the farthest up I could get them. Uh, my chariot and my mutilith rally, and, of course, my uh, demon prince goes in to help out my chimera. And I'm sure you've noticed by now that there's a whole bunch of wound counters all of a sudden springing up along my monsters. My Mutalith, my Chariot, my BSB. All of a sudden everybody's got wounds and no idea where to get them. Well, a friend of mine made a bunch of wound counters, the little, uh, little round circles that you're seeing around their, their bases right now. Another friend of mine saw them, and while I stepped away to use the bathroom and thank Zinch for all of his help, 
Uh, he put wound counters on all my models, and I didn't notice until we were well into the movement phase. And my buddy looks over at me and goes, the only reason I'm going to say this is because it's a tournament. So-and-so put a whole bunch of wound counters out on all your models. That's why they have wounds. That's how out of it I was. I didn't realize that all of a sudden all of my monsters are half dead. So, <laughs> ha-ha, got me. Thanks, jerk. <laughs> So yeah, here's a better picture of the warriors slamming into the knights in the flank there. And no, my BSB does not have two wounds on him. Uh, jerks. <laughs> uh, over here, uh, there's Trifection and Lord Tremendous slamming into the uh, knights errant there. Trifection looking for a little bit of help. He does actually have a wound on him. That's actually legit. So whatever. And uh, nothing in magic or shooting happens. So we go into combat. And once again... Once again, the lady stops three of my wounds. Uh, all, all three of the wounds that the Demon Prince got through, got through his armor, and he makes all of his ward saves. Once again, that POS lady protects him. So, yes, if you're in my area, don't drink the water. I've done Nurgle things to it. Nurgle! Right over here, the uh, knights take a whooping. I kill five of them, four of knights, and I kill his general in the challenge. And my BSB gets a, he rolls a seven on the chart for his trouble. But at this point, you know, Zinch let him stay there. He could have rolled a two and I'd have been thrilled. You know? <laughs> but uh, I take one wound to my warriors for my trouble. My BSB is perfectly healthy. We win combat by a boatload and they break. My BSB pursues, but he rolls low, and my warriors uh, uh, reform to face that big train of knights to my left there. And, oh, I'm sorry, my BSB, or my BSB, my Demon Prince and my Chimera did break, then ended up breaking the Knights Errant. They fled, and we ran them down. That's where we ended up, looking right into the faces of the fleeing unit of uh, knights that my warriors and my BSB just, uh, well, I guess saw off to their eventual death. So there's where it looks like uh, my BSB, who went after the knights, ended up, you know, stopping an inch away from the impassable train. My warriors, who were able to test the restraint and did, uh, turned and looked at the knights because I wasn't sure if they were going to go after me or the dogs, to be perfectly honest with you. And, uh, yeah, with the Demon Prince and the Chimera looking right at them, I was fine with where they were. Over here in this combat, uh, it's not going quite as well for the Slanesh Chariot. He takes a couple of wounds. He's unable to do anything to the Pegasus Knights. I do end up staying, but only by the skin of my teeth, you know? So we go to bottom three after movement. And as you can see, there's been a little bit. His uh, big old train of knights charged into my dogs. And that threw me off for a minute right up until his paladin... Uh, with the worm lance, decided to fly over to my flank. Once he flew over to the flank, I knew what he was going to do, and I cursed this, the, cursed his gods, his lady, for allowing him to have that weapon. Urgh. Meanwhile, the knights that fled from that last combat did rally, and they stood right there knowing they were dead. Which is good, the prophetess was in there, and I wanted her dead. Here's a better picture of the dogs about to get mulched by the knights. There's a picture of the rallied knights, and, you know, just, just in time to get their heads ripped off, so that's fine. Over here, uh, with the uh, Hell Striders, they did move up to get a little bit closer. The bowmen fire a whole bunch and are able to kill two, which sucks. And one of the trebuchets misfires and can't fire this turner next, which is awesome. It was a good trade. It was a good trade. During the shooting phase, his worm lance goes off and is able to kill three of my warriors, which he will pay for later. Over here, we in combat. Uh, my chariot doesn't do any wounds, and he doesn't get any wounds to hit put back on him, but I lose combat, and I flee. And I flee off the table. Uh, I don't believe he pursues me, but yeah. Slanesh is taught fear by the Bretonian Pegasus Knights, so... Little embarrassing, but it is what it is. Right here... Uh, I was shocked, but my dogs got destroyed <laughs> by the knights on a charge. Just destroyed. Killed them to a man, didn't even have to overrun or anything like that. But that wasn't really the problem. The problem was my effin' warriors are animal lovers, and I rolled a 9 and a 10 for their panic check for a unit destroyed within 6. And they flee. They bounce through the, uh, Pegasus, uh, the, the Bretonian Pegasus. I don't roll any, uh, 
uh, ones for dangerous terrain for fleeing through them. I think I rolled like nine, so I was really impressed that I didn't lose anymore. And yeah, but that's where they end up after they flee, which puts them out of position to do anything, which kind of sucks. So we go to top of four. And needless to say, my Chimera, my Mutilith, and my Chariot all charge his knights that uh, rallied the turn before. My Demon Prince looks at the uh, Bretonian Pegasus Knight Paladin guy and says, You's got to die, friend, and charges him. He stands and takes it. And my BSB turns around to look at the unit of knights that just killed off the dogs and decides, you know what, if I can take the other unit of knights, I can certainly take this unit of knights. And, you know, that was my logic. There's a better picture of just the raw pain that's going to be brought to these guys. Oh, it's a good picture. It's a good picture. There's a good picture of the demon prince uh, slamming into the paladin and about to arrange a meeting for him with his lady. Uh, right here, I get enchanted blades off on my demon prince because I don't like a fair fight or one that's only mostly stacked in my favor. I want it all stacked in my favor. And with that being done, we go straight into combat, and as you can see, the Mutilith Chimera Chariot combo was a little bit too much for the knights to deal with. I ended up killing five of his knights. I believe I killed his lady, uh, because at this point she was in combat, and I was able to direct some attacks at her, so I murdered her face. And they break and they get run down. Uh, the Chariot, the Chimera, and the Mutilith all pursue. The Chimera makes it that far. Meanwhile, the chariot and the uh, mutilith kind of run into each other so they stop each away with combat between the demon prince and the bsb it was a one-sided fight my uh demon prince is able to get all of his attacks through the de the uh, 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 uh paladin saves murdered him didn't recover any wounds but turned to face the big old brick of knights because he's on a roll and thank god that paladin's dead marauders and a few of my warriors have been uh, redeemed oh and also my mar my warriors did rally this turn so they turned to face the archers because at this point there's a lot of position i might as well get whatever points i can with them uh over here in this combat i'm sorry i forgot to get a picture tournament tired i'm out of excuses they slam into uh the bowmen kill them over run into the trebuchet who just yeah they've got to go they's got to die so here's bottom of four after movement. Uh, no new charges, but as you can see, his uh, big old train of knights turn to uh, face the BSB Demon Prince combo charge there while the, uh, what's it called, his Pegasus Knights also turn to kind of accept it. I think he thought my Demon Prince was going to charge them, and that was never my intention. Uh, yeah, magic is dead. His shooting is negligible, so we go into combat immediately. And the Hellstriders murder off his uh, trebuchet, and then they reform to face the other trebuchet archers that are across there uh, for the next turn. And speaking of next turn, we go to top of five. And my BSB and my Demon Prince charge his unit of knights. They fail their terror check and flee off the table. So <laughs> my Demon Prince and BSB, uh, there's nothing for them to really redirect to other than the Bretonian Pegasus Knights. The Chimera was already charging them. I figured they'd make it, so I didn't bother. And uh, needless to say, it was a bad choice because my Chimera was 12 in well, was 22 inches away exactly from the Pegasus Knights, and I didn't roll boxcars. So they failed. he failed this charge. The Demon Prince and the BSB ended up where they're at, and my Warriors and my Hellstriders, the Warriors charged his archers, the Hellstriders charged the uh, other trebuchet, they both made their charges, and they ended up there. Meanwhile, the Melith comes around to try to get a spell off on the Pegasus Knights, but they're too far away, and I'm not able to get it off. There's a better picture of the open area space that used to be Knights. I like the fact that I was able to scare two units of knights off with terror. That was actually huge. I'm very, very happy about that, you know? It's like all the reward with none of the work, and I'm lazy, so I like that. Right there, there's a picture of the Chimera's failed charge. I don't blame Trifection for that. I, I take the blame for that one because I should have measured before I made the charge. Uh, if I had realized that they were 22 inches away, I probably would have still made the charge. But, you know, <laughs> it is what it is. Right over here, there's my Warriors and my Hellstriders cleaning up his back end there because they've got to go. They've tried to kill me, and I'm not going to stand for it. Uh, I skip magic, and we go straight into combat. And as you can see, the Hellstriders and the Warriors have no problem taking out the peasants. There's a shock. 
Uh, here's bottom of five after movement. The Pegasus Knights uh, decide not to charge anything, which is smart. They decide to make me chase them around and magic them off the table the best I can. Uh, they move right behind the Chimera, maintaining a one-inch gap, or close enough. And there's really nothing else for him to do, so we go to top of six. And yeah, exactly ha what ha you think is going to happen happens. The Butylith moves to get his spell off. The Demon Prince moves to get his spell off. Ashigus moves up to get his spell off. And everything else just kind of stays put because we all know how it's going to go. And I'm not trying to be a jerk. This guy is a good friend of mine. So, I mean, don't get me wrong. I'll wipe him off the table, but <laughs> I'm not going to be a jerk about it. And that's pretty much what happens. Uh, I get a whole bunch of my ranged magic spells off and I, I kill off his uh, Pegasus Knights and they're dead. So I I removed the tower in that last picture just to show that they were dead. I put the tower back afterwards, and as you can see, this is what the table looked like at the end of the game. So yeah, yeah, not a not a bad game for the Warriors. Even though that lady did try to interfere, I think Zinch got a hold of her and let her know who the real chosen was. <laughs> yeah. So quick time out. Banners, 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 get you some banners. Look at my banners. You don't have these banners. You don't have any banners nearly this cool. So send this dude an email. Look him up on Facebook. Check out my uh, my intro on this particular battle report, and you'll see that not only do I have the banners, but my opponents have the banners, and their army looks better because of it. So Stop procrastinating. Send this dude an email. Send his Facebook page a shout. And get up banner there's nothing stopping you other than your own laziness rise above it's totally worth it i'm telling you so yeah in the end uh it was a crushing massacre victory for lord tremendous that's me i got 2699 points out of him he got 290 out of me uh my warriors of chaos lost my marauder horseman the orcish elegance chariot and my warhounds uh the bretonians lost everything uh, the lady was protecting him at first. I was really nervous at that point because if you can't get wounds through, you can't win. But thank Zinch, she got distracted. I'd like to believe that either Slanesh or Zinch walked over, bopped her on the head, and got those ward saves to go away. So I was I was happy about that. But there was there was quite a few. I'm really thrilled I got those on camera because now everybody knows that he's a witch. So... <laughs> But yeah, yeah, uh, I got very lucky in this game too that his two large units of knights fled off the table thanks to terror. That was big because if they had held on or if they had gotten the charge off or anything of the, of the sort, uh, this game could have went a lot different a lot quicker. And I've seen it happen. Ooh, excuse me. Uh, we've seen it happen in a previous battle report where he damn near tabled me. If he didn't table me, I can't remember correctly. I don't think he tabled me. But he did beat me severely in a tournament in round two. So what we're doing is we're just trading victories, which is kind of nice. But uh, you know what? It's always nice to get a little revenge on the lady's avatar. It's good to know that I can hit her where, where uh, her champion hurts. So that's kind of nice. But it was an excellent game. Excellent opponent. Excellent individual. I really enjoyed it. Uh... The scenario was fun, you know, the, the the competition and the little pranks with moving move counters around was actually a lot of fun. And I got moved up in the standings, too, so that was also fun. But uh, I'm, I really enjoyed the game, and I hope to get a rematch against this army soon. So, yeah, everybody, that's going to wrap up this battle report number... 37 i believe so yeah yeah we're really racking them up i hope you guys are continuing to enjoy them as much as i'm enjoying making them and and posting them and everything uh if you have any questions concerns comments or complaints feel free to put them in the comments section below and i will get back to you as quick as i can read them because you know i kind of enjoy it I, I i respond to just about all of them unless i can't think of anything to say which is rare <laughs> so yeah thanks